In 1970, the Canadian Brass gave their first concert performance. In the years that followed, they developed a new approach to the art of brass instrument playing and programming, transforming a previously neglected group of instruments with a limited repertoire into an exciting and versatile ensemble which performs everything from Bach to Mozart to Gershwin and Dixieland, each performance sprinkled with spontaneity and humor. From China Wall to New York's Carnegie Hall, their superb blend of virtuosity and humorous showmanship make for a magical musical experience, the Canadian Brass. Hi, I'm Chuck of the Canadian Brass. And I'm Gene of the Canadian Brass. We're very excited to uh, be embarking on a new enterprise that could perhaps be uh, one of the most significant steps forward for brass uh, in this century. Actually, it's, it's a fulfillment of a dream I've always had, that, that music should be theater, it should, should be visual, Wait a minute. it should be exciting, Wait, it team. should have all the lighting techniques you possible. You said a it's dream you had, this is my dream you're telling them about. This is my dream. I've had this dream. Well, I think it's our dream, it's a fulfillment, and it's also the dream of the Star of Indiana. The Star of Indiana, as you know, is world champion drum and bugle corps, or at least they used to be. Now they're world champion performers with us Canadian brass. Why, why don't we just take a look at just who the Star of Indiana is? So what we're witnessing is an ensemble that's very comfortable performing in front of very large audiences in stadiums and very large arenas. It's a very exciting prospect to take their experience of the sense of spectacular. Uh, that was the exciting thing for us and is the exciting thing for us to come. When we were approached to, to try and work out a whole evening's entertainment, basically with the music uh, presented in such a spectacular way, it, it, it was just too much to resist. Um, we feel like we're really inventing a new genre of musical enterprise. I think the uh, natural uh, interest here too is that we're taking the very finest young musicians uh, based on uh, national auditions and we're going to be incorporating their freshness and energy and youthfulness uh, along with our sense of uh, history and style of, of musical playing. Canadian Brass has long been known for adding a visual element to its music and Star of Indiana, of course, is based on the premise of a visual and theatrical approach to presentation of great music. Now, by combining these two forces, just imagine, if you can, some of the greatest music of this century, some of the greatest brass music ever written, being presented in a stadium, uh, perhaps uh, an audience of thousands, that this music will somehow transcend the normal enjoyment of a, of a classical Gabrielli or or in fact uh, transcend the normal per performance of the Firebird, which was conceived as a theatrical work. So we've designed a program for this coming summer that includes some of the very finest music, not only of this century, but the music that's long been associated with brass, the Gabrielli and Monteverdi. And by combining these two, we've taken the very finest music, along with the Canadian brass concept of performance, and the freshness that uh, Star of Indiana, the, the young players, bring to this whole event. It's a very exciting prospect. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's exciting. Uh, this, first of all, just in sheer numbers, uh, 20 percussionists, right? 60 brass players, 20 dancers. Uh, now, you add this element to classical music, 
plus lighting, plus scrims, plus uh, techniques that have never been used before, you're going to have a fantastic show that's uh, really thrilling us, and I'm sure it will thrill you. Thank <laughs> you.